manufacturing has been the key to prosperity for many countries. From the rise of Great Britain in the 19th century, the US, Germany, Japan and USSR in the 20th, to the newly industrialized countries like Korea, Taiwan and China. Kenya is also looking at anchoring its growth on manufacturing. I believe this is the greatest opportunity for creating jobs, creating employment and creating new income for families and ultimately transforming societies. The manufacturing sector is a tide that lifts all boats. And this is why it is part of the government's Big Four agenda. We have lagged a lot behind in the area of manufacturing and producing products that can be sold in this country. If we don't produce goods and to some extent invest in services in this country, we will continue to lag behind. And so the commitment made by the president in making manufacturing as a strong pillar in reviving the contribution of manufacturing to our GDP from 9% to 15% is a very bold and strong commitment to drive the economic agenda for this country into the future. The ministry is working closely with all stakeholders and one of them is KCB Bank. We are the largest lenders KCB for manufacturing sector. It's a big component of our, of our lending outside the consumer lending book. We do a lot of financing on all aspects of the different streams of the businesses. Our target is to be in the top 50 in the world. Um, that, of course, requires a significant amount of changes in the way we do things, uh, whether it's how we register businesses, how easy is it to register properties if you are transferring properties, or indeed how cross-border trade uh, can happen. These grant plans present exciting business opportunities such as funding new factories to trading in the different local sectors, textile, leather and agribusiness. Like I see someone who is doing macadamia now and saying we will export macadamia products, processed foods into, into the United Nations or into the World Food Programme. And, or they are selling that into Rwanda or they are selling that to Ethiopia. So once you are able to blend that into a product that is acceptable to the global markets, this is how you build trade and build exports in the market. The government is keen to increase the revenue in the manufacturing sector to over 15% of the GDP, which will lead to an increase in foreign direct investment of up to five times. The level of foreign direct investments that have been coming into this country in the last five years have moved from under 300 million US dollars to over 2 billion US dollars. That is in addition to our own existing local investors expanding their businesses, whether you are talking sectors like real estate, whether you are talking manufacturing of the you know, foods and beverages. There has been significant amount of investments that we have been able to register and we expect this to continue uh, in the coming years. An increase in investment will lead to the creation of more than 1 million jobs. There are huge opportunities in the apparel sector. The apparel sector today employs, I would say, nearly 50,000 people here in Kenya within our EPZs alone. Uh, of course, outside of the export processing zones, I would say the number is probably two or three times that. And out of that 50, 25,000 of those who are people and investments that were made in the last four years and those jobs were created uh, in the last four years. We haven't even scratched the surface in terms of exploiting what the opportunity is. So today in Sub-Saharan Africa, we are the leading country in exporting to the US and producing garments for top brands here in Kenya in different parts of Kenya. To meet international standards, it is not enough to only invest in equipment. It is equally important to invest in a skilled workforce. Part of the programs for us as KCB's investment to Janjiri is to help out the mid entrepreneurs to, to maintain the standards of the larger manufacturers. We get a significant amount of export earnings out of tea, but most of it is exported uh, in bulk. There are some logistical related issues that makes it more competitive to pack tea in places like the UK uh, or 
Egypt much closer to the market uh, because transporting tea when it's in finished form uh, is much more costly than transporting it in bulk when it's uh, in, 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 in bigger bags. Logistics isn't the only challenge, despite the fact that Kenya ranks as one of the world's top 10 largest producers of geothermal energy, reliable power supply has been a serious challenge. So in the next two to three years, the energy costs that manufacturing are big concerned with, the infrastructure difficulties they have in terms of accessing the ports or the airports, those two particular ones will be addressed in the next two to three years. The government will also need to amend the current laws and policies governing the industry to achieve the country's growth agenda. The government is consolidating a whole raft of financial institutions that are today run and owned by governments into what we call a Biashara Bank. Uh, that bank is dedicated to supporting the small and medium-sized businesses. We also want to make sure that the support that is given to this sector through training and development is also much more clearer than it has been before.